Hi, I'm Dawn. Besides entering text, selecting text is probably the most common task for many Microsoft Word documents. We select document text to format, copy, move, and delete. Almost every editing and formatting task begins by selecting something. That is to select, then do. The most common way to select and highlight text is to simply click and drag your mouse across the text. Unfortunately, sometimes this approach creates problems, such as the runaway mouse, where we lose exact control over the amount of text we want to select in Word, or simply being able to be accurate about what you want to highlight. So working with keyboard shortcuts is often a better solution. Let's look at some combinations. Working with the Shift key will give you more control over what you want to highlight. So simply move to the beginning of the text you want to select, hold down Shift, and then add your direction keys. So for instance, to the right, down, left, up. We can even press page down and continue page down. The whole time here, I'm holding down my Shift key. Page up. Or let's go back to the beginning. Here I could hold on Shift and the End key. That moves to the end of the line of my current location. Or if I'm somewhere in the middle of the text, Shift and Home takes me to the beginning. And if we want to highlight from this location to the very end of the document, we can do that too. Once again, using directional keys. So Shift, Control and the end key to take us to the end of the document. Now, whatever we want to do next, whether it's to cut or copy or format, it's easy to do. Now, sometimes even better than the shift key is a little known selection trick with the F8 function key. To know that we're in a selection mode, move to the status bar at the bottom of your document screen, then right click. The status bar is highly customized, as you can see from my screen. What we want to turn on is selection mode. That is, we want this to display or show us when we've enabled this feature. Simply hit the F8 function key, look at your status bar, and you will see extend selection. So that is an easy way for you to know that you've enabled this option. Now I don't have to hold down the shift key. I can hit page down, up, down, to the right, hit the end key, and as we saw before, I could even navigate to the bottom of the document or to a specific page. So the F8 function key makes it much easier for you to select text without having to hold down the shift key. Now another option when it's selected is we can hit the F8 function key multiple times and you can see how it will incrementally select text, everything from a word to a paragraph to the whole document. The extend selection mode turns off when you do one of two things. Either you perform an action, like to cut or to copy, or a formatting action, perhaps if I want to make this bold. The easiest way to turn it off is to press the Escape key. Now we can move anywhere we want, and that will clear our highlight. We can also combine our mouse with our keyboard for other selection actions. That is, although dragging your mouse for a large range is usually kind of cumbersome, if we move to the beginning of the range we want to highlight, instead of dragging, what I'll do is hold down the Shift key and then just click at the end. So that way I can move multiple pages and then simply by holding down Shift and clicking that would work. Here are some other actions with the mouse. What if I want to simply select the current word? I'll double click. Or the current paragraph. Triple click. That makes it really easy when we want to copy or cut a section of text or even apply formatting. Now instead, you may want to select a sentence, not necessarily an entire paragraph. And once again, we don't have to just drag our mouse over it. Simply hold down the control and click into the sentence. And now the entire sentence, including the punctuation, is selected. And then perform any action you want to that. Let's say I want to make this bold. I'll press control B for bold and it's that easy. If we want to select the entire document, control A is a select all action. And if we have a section of text that we've selected and we want to move it, we could certainly do a cut and paste. But another way to select and move then is alt, shift, and the down arrow or the up arrow. And this will move paragraph at a time. 
Hopefully you picked up some new keyboard shortcuts to easily select your text in Microsoft Word. These keyboard shortcuts can be not only impressive, but really useful. For more tips on being productive with Microsoft Word or to sign up for my tips newsletter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash word. If this training was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Don Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.